I'm Pam Seidel in North York. This house on the corner does not look too bad in the front. It's relatively clean and tidy, but the sides and the back of the house is a different story. It's frustrating for neighbors who say they've been living with it for years, but when it comes to firm action, the city says its hands are essentially tied. It's time to evict her from the house and put it into good use. It's a cute little bungalow on the corner of Caledonia and Glen Grove. As you can see, they're on the side of the house. Until you look over the fence. It's piled high with junk, and neighbors say it's often much worse. The filth is even visible on Google Earth. Neighbors say it's been going on for eight years. John Tortorisi and his wife have been living next door with a beautifully manicured yard for almost 50 years. He and his daughter say the next door neighbors don't live there, but just come and store their stuff. They say the inside is also crammed. Franca Tortorisi believes the city isn't doing enough to deal with the problem. Continuously, they come, they bring trucks to, to clean it, but she brings it all back after two weeks. And their biggest concern is the unwanted vermin. They say as a result of the mess, yes, rats. Last year, uh, five of them come from there. One, two, three, four. I said, what the? And you saw them coming from your yeah. neighbor's yard? Oh, yeah, from the back. The back, come from the fence, come into my place. Oh, two, three days later, one big one like this come out from the garage. Even the neighbor across the street says he swarmed with them. Every night I, I, I drive my car in the, in, the, in the driveway, I see the big rats. We came in with our own contractors and spent three days clearing all the waste and debris from the exterior of the property. From what I understand is they may have um, some mental health um, challenges in terms of a hoarding problem. Yes. It's not, it's a, you know, no one documented um, mental health issue, so it's not a quick fix. The city's municipal licensing and standards admits there's been a long-standing issue with the two sisters who own the home. They've been in to clear the property at least once and are coming back later this week to do it again. Mark Sraga says it's a complicated issue and dealing with vulnerable people. Other services have been brought in as support, but there's really not a lot they can do. But basically, until the homeowner decides to or is convinced to either change their behavior or move, there's not a thing that other neighbors can do? It, 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 unfortunately, no. It's a frustrating situation for all. No one was home today at the sister's house, and a call to the listed number gave a friendly message, but no answer. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message. When the heat is, is, ha is happening, you can smell it more. Yeah. The hotter it gets, the smellier it is. Are you, are you concerned about property values? Here? Oh, of course. Who, would you want to live or buy this house to live beside that? Now the city says it will be monitoring this property more closely in the future to try to prevent it from getting into this condition again. Also, the neighbors were unhappy when they thought that their tax dollars would be paying for the cleanup. Well, Mark Sraga says the cost, and it will be in the thousands, will be added to the property tax bills for this home. A City News viewer reached out to us to let us know about their concerns with the garbage here on Glen Grove. Remember, if you have a story idea you'd like us to research, here is how to reach us.